Welcome to Armored Warfare. Uh, open beta, day one. I'm playing on the European server. Even though I'm in North America, um, I, Affirmative. Gunner, I'm just going to try it out for a couple weeks, I guess. Driver, um, move out. It looks like the um, premium time is for both European and North American servers. So not a big deal. My ping on the North American servers is around 88. My ping in the European server, on average, is about 122. So, ping-wise, there's not much in it. Anyway, so, this is open beta, day one. And, you know, not, not, not too terrible. <laughs> not too terrible. Um, a lot of this comes down to, uh, you know, your, your PC, so, anyway. Bit of a judder there while it moves more stuff into memory. It looks like what it does is it loads the map, and then, uh, as soon as one tank is spotted by your team, it loads the tank models into memory, or transfers them over to the graphics card, or whatever. Whatever it does. Identify target. Awesome. Whoopsie! Direct hit. Hopefully there's nobody sniping from across there. Doesn't look like there is. There's a dude there. Looks like there's some people over here causing trouble, so... Uh, Identify target. Awesome. Hey. Ooh, track damage. Fantastic. Figured out I'm here. <laughs> Identify. Hostile tank. Sail. Ammo up. Identify. Hostile tank. It locked on. Move. Hostile tank mark. Hmm. Who the hell spotted me? Identify. From where? Oh. Uh -oh. Tank. Hit. You hit us hard. Oh shit, I don't think I have time to run away. Damn it. Nobody ever watches the middle in this map. Oh well. Maybe they can get around behind them, who knows. Or not. Maybe they're just gonna sit there. Look at your mini map, you don't even have a shot. Well, it was nice to see the enemy realize that I was the only person there and then just rush me. Must be one of those bastards that watches the minimap. Okay, so now let's see what else we can do. Who's this? This is a pattern. So, uh, this guy? 
this guy. I think my first game in the uh, in the P76 was uh, was just pure luck to get a uh, to get a good team. I have to say, after EA 4 and 5 came out, I went over to uh, World of uh, Todd's and uh, was playing against bots a lot of the time. Um, <laughs> I think I... Early evening, it was... You know, there was lots of people on, but... I want to say that... Um, yeah, you know, after about 11 o'clock my time, nothing but bots. Absolutely worthless. And... Um, it was good practice. I um, when I left World of Tanks a year ago, I sucked really badly. And when I went back the other week, I actually found that I had improved greatly after playing this. Because a lot of the things you learn in this transfer quite nicely over to World of Tanks. Because in this one, there's certain aspects of the gameplay in World of Tanks that that just don't work here. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see. It's open beta, day one. So, who's to say which way the game can go? Alright, there's a tier one there. Finish him. camera view on this is fixed. Can't zoom in or out. The only way you can zoom in is if you get up against a rock. I mean, the models in this are actually pretty good. They're not super high quality, but they're not low quality either. Which is nice, because it gives you a nice balance of performance and style. Well, I gotta say, these guys are really quite boring to watch. Let's go see what that, uh, that T-54 over there is up to. Is it him? Nope. Nope. him. Okay. <coughs> this guy looks to be actually playing, so... Ram him! Actually, ramming is not particularly effective in this game at the moment. If you look at the mini-map, one of the really cute little features in this game is the uh, the mod features. The, the the common mod in World of Tanks is visible by default in the mini-map here. You've got your you know your view line, your view radius, and uh, you know the, the the map shows where your targets currently are and where they were last spotted by default, which is really quite nice. It really does help. If you look at your minimap, a lot of you may just decide to minimize that because you never pay attention to it. Who knows? Now, see, this guy actually has some shots there, which he decided not to take. Alright, there we go. Traverse the other way. Oh dear.
Tank goes forward, tank goes backward. Why are you... The other nice thing about this is 90% of the time if you have a clear shot on a target the icon above it on the map there will go bright red or bright whatever color you've changed it to if you've changed it. If it's not visible then it will stay that dull, you know, dull of color that's not particularly see-through. Four minutes. Ooh, and they have uh, deployed a new map called Reactor, which is uh, a bigger map. Hurrah! I'm not sure for its size it should be in the map rotation when you're in a tier one through four, <laughs> simply because of its size, but... It's nice to see larger maps which can which are gonna nicely accommodate the bigger tanks. The, the siren and the little progress bar on the screen there now. See it? That indicates that you're losing. That means the base is being captured. A lot of people seem to have found that confusing in open beta. Uh, oh, sorry, in uh, early access. Oh, hands up! Who didn't see that coming? 